Before the video begins, I'd like to give you all a different disclaimer from the ones I usually put on my videos. I don't want to say what exactly happens in this game as it would ruin the horrifying experience it offers, but I will say this, out of all the games I've played in my life, there's never been one that's come close to being this repugnant. The game we're playing today contains truly disturbing topics and it's not for the faint of heart. I'll assume that you clicked on this video for exactly that, you want to see if this Roblox game truly is that scary. And I'm here to tell you that it is. I'm not responsible for how offended you'll feel or how disturbed you'll be after watching this video. It's your decision to keep on watching or to click off. Today, we're dealing with monsters, isolation, and something much worse. Okay guys, today we're playing my Ice Sieve. Um, it's a recreation of an art game. Yeah, I don't know what is with this developer, but he's already done this before. Now, this was done with permission, but I don't care. We are gonna play the original game for today. I think playing the original is gonna be way better. I'm sorry, guys, but like, I, I don't I don't like this. I really want this developer to do original stuff because he clearly had the capacity to. I mean, look at this. But anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's just go play the original. Welcome to my eyes deceive controls. Let's, let me see the controls. Oh, cool animation. Uh, I, I think I got the hand, hand, uh, uh said, ah, oh, God. This game contains elements that involve sensitive and disturbing subject matter, maybe, okay, bro. The characters, storylines, and environments with the experience are like fictional recreations and should not be interpreted as representations of real life situations or individuals. Yeah, I gotta read very fast through those. Day one. Take your pills. What the? Um crazy <laughs> I'm, I'm not tired okay let me take my meds that was crazy ones they locked me in rooms bunch of robber rooms all right let me drink the water i, I guess there yeah that was okay i got the food in the microwave mm -mm -mm. i gotta wash myself because i'm a little stinky boy Hmm, uh, can I play on this? Oh, I can interact with it. We got a little plant. You look thirsty. Uh, do you want some water? I don't necessarily have a glass of... I mean, I have, can I check this? No. Well, I don't think we can give the plant some water. We got a little tablet here. Still have stuff to do. I, uh, you gotta, you gotta wash yourself, you little stanky. Always take a bath, guys. Don't be dirty. I just gotta wait for father. What? Huh? Okay, this looks weird. I got I got a watering can. Right, let's go water the plants. Very fun activity. Keep growing, little one. Yeah, some nice encouraging words for the little plants. Uh, grow big and strong, little plant. This guy is so nice to his plants. Kit pad, free runner. What is? Oh, what? Is, what is this supposed to be? <laughs> Uh, pink rectangle, get away from red rectangle. No, that's not a rectangle, that's a square. Oh, talk with Papa. Papa! Don't they start, Papa? My little darling. I cannot see you. Are you here? Yes, Papa. Will you come down today? No, honey. You should really know better. You could get infected. Oh, did you take your pills? Yes, they're making me feel sleepy again. Then you should probably go to bed. Can you tell me a story from outside, please? Okay, but I will keep it short. Today, I saw a very scary creature. Upon seeing it, I felt immense terror. However, I managed to escape. That's why you mustn't try to leave. I'd hate for them to find you. Thank you for 
protecting me. I'm very tired. I think I'll go to bed. Oh, before you go, I have something for you. A diary! So you don't get bored. Thank you! No worries, my dear. Okay, now sleep well. See you, Papa! Uh, write in your diary. Where, where's my diary? Like, where, I don't- I cannot see it. I don't want to drown you with water. Yeah. There's actually something you guys don't understand, uh, or don't know. Plants can drown from too much water. So never overwater your plants. Oh, here it is. Today, Papa gave me this diary. I'm so happy. He also told me a story from the outside. It seems like a very scary place. You'll hear from me tomorrow. He continue. Okay. Bro. Okay. You see, I could go to sleep, but... Doesn't that look more interesting to go explore? I may be crazy. But I kind of want to see if anything bad happens here. Can I go interact with this? Okay. Well, you didn't have to say it so slowly. Alright, Mimir. Hey man. I'm just a little boy or girl. I don't know what I am. I'm guessing a girl just because of the pink on the tablet. Uh. What the hell going on here? Whoa, whoa, what the scallop? Uh, is that you, Papa? Interesting. Papa! Where are you? So far, we seem to be playing as a little girl who's being kept inside a basement, and judging by her ability to speak and do chores, she's probably somewhere around 70 years of age. An innocent child who cares for her plants and loves her father. She seems to want to hang out with her father, but denies because it could get her infected. By this, we can tell that the reason she's being kept in here is because of her father. He's very protective of her, even gives her pills, so she avoids getting infected. Anyways, after a brief chat with her dad, the girl feels tired and goes to sleep. She has a dream of waking up and everything disappearing, except the stairs to the outside world. Her attempt to exit causes the dreams to stop, and so begins. Okay, take your pills. Yeah, cause I'm- I'm crazy. Is that joke still relevant? Is that funny to you guys? Hehehe, <laughs> I'm insane. Uh, do your basic activities of the day. So far, the story, uh, I guess we have an overprotective parent or something darker is going on, but I haven't ca caught catched on to the dark stuff going on. Uh, and now we wait for father, I can get on, yeah. Oh shit, oh. You won't catch me, I am pink square. You guys gotta help me out on the pink square lore, bro. Shout out to anyone who tries to decode the, the pink square lore. I know it's very tricky to solve, yeah. Anyhow, give me this, I'm gonna water my plants. Cause I'm such a responsible plant owner. Keep growing, little one. You got this, grow more. What was that? Do you guys hear that? Oh, talk with Papa. Oh, Papa's here. I, uh, hold on, Dad. Grow big and strong, little plant. Alright, let's go talk to Papa. I'm back. How are you feeling? I feel very good. I slept amazingly, even though I had a weird dream. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Don't worry. Did you take your pills today? Yes, I really have to take them every day. Of course. It's for your own good. They prevent you from getting infected. It's important that you take them every day. Okay, okay, I, I will. Did you find something today? Uh, yes, I managed to gather some food and other supplies. Did you run into a monster again? Unfortunately, yes. The world outside is a mess. Monsters are Im imitating human voices. If you hear anyone besides me, do not make a sound. They mustn't find you. I'm scared, Papa! What if they make your voice? How do I know it's really you? This is a very smart girl. Yeah, what, what if that happens? Let's think of a password. What about Apple? What's that? A sparse resource. A delicious type of food. If I manage to find one, I'll give it to you. I'm excited! Aren't you tired yet? Now that you mention it, I should go to bed soon. Good idea, honey. Rest well. Good night, Papa. 
All right. So it seems like we're living in a post-apocalyptic world where a lot of people are getting infected and that's how they die. And it just seems like we got a father who wants to protect us. It's a bunch of monsters that imitate human voices. And I was about to say, what if they imitate dad? But we just had a wholesome moment in which they, they you know, they made a password. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I should probably write in the diary. There we are. The world outside is a mess. What does he mean? Yeah, I don't know uh, which one to choose. I'll select the one on the left. Today, Papa Hush told me about something called Apple. He said it is very rare because the world outside is a mess. I'm scared of the outside. There are many monsters. Yeah, shout out to dad, bro. He's a very good dad for keeping his daughter safe. All right, last time nothing happened when I went to the store, so I'm gonna just sleep this time. I don't know if that's what, that was a mistake from my part, or I should... Okay. Oh, right. So little girl's down there, and I guess we're playing as Papa right now. Oh, yeah, look at this beautiful world. Oh, yeah. Little spikes. Spikes coming out of the walls. Hey, I mean... That wasn't wrong. This is kind of a mess. I don't feel bad for the girl, man. I didn't going outside and this is all you see. I'm gonna go get an apple for my little one. Because I love her so much. And I hope nothing bad happens to me. Like, I don't know. A creature starts running at me at full high speeds. No, that's usually pretty scary. I don't know if this game will do that. You know how funny it'd be if I predicted that? Where am I going, bro? What is this on the ground? Is this an apple? Although Pink Square lore is very intriguing, I'd like to talk about what the father said. As you mentioned, the world outside is a mess. There's a disease and horrible monsters on the loose, with some of the monsters being able to mimic human voices. Somehow, in these terrible conditions, this guy is just able to survive, gather food, and gather all those special pills for her daughter. And that's assuming he's doing this alone. We haven't heard of a mother friend, family, relative, as far as we know, our father is all on his own. With this, we could also assume that the mother is probably dead. We don't know if the girl knows about her mother, but considering everything, she probably doesn't even know what a mother is. It's also kind of weird that the game tells us that this is day two, but day two of what? Did the apocalypse start two days ago? No, that can't be possible because the girl's already used to her environment. So what? Is it day two of? How long has this truly been going on for? And has the girl ever been outside before? As we soon learn, no, she hasn't. All she knows about the world is that it's a mess. And as any bored child would do, she gets to drawing and draws what she thinks the world looks like before going to sleep. What a coincidence. In the second dream, we're placed in the shoes of the father was outside the basement. The little trap door to the little girl's home is surrounded by giant walls with large spikes coming out of them, almost too similar to the girl's drawings. As the father, we leave the basement and head out. We just shared a pretty sweet moment with her daughter, making up a password in case any mimics try to get her. She's surely safer than she ever was before. And as relief sets in, we see something in the distance, something that shouldn't be there, something that only could have been there if placed by someone or something. We don't know the abilities of these mimics, so we don't know if killing someone is how they copy their voice. We also don't really know what happened to the father, but as the following days play out, the truth of what happened to him will slowly start sinking in. Um. Oh, this girl is dead. I'll take the pills. I don't know what happens if I don't take them where the game literally just not doesn't let me. I, I should have tried that right now, but I already took them too late. I'm a obedient little kid. What can I say? I'm a good boy or a good girl. I, whoa, whoa. Okay, listen. No food. No! No! There, there's some old food left. No, dude. No, bro. No, there's no food. He's dead. He's f no. It is so over, guys. All right, now wait for father. I don't think you're gonna have to wait long. Maybe um father is gonna be very excited to come home and talk to us. Perhaps you know. All right, keep growing, little. Yep, keep growing. Let me let me water you now. All right, and now now I use my 
<laughs> now we do the the pink square lore that was one big monster though i did not like that at all who is this pink square man what's the real identity of the pink square what's the story behind it who are the red squares trying to get him are they all the haters unbelievable leaves pink square alone this game is so fun i'm almost halfway through it where's papa um Yo, game! I don't know what- I don't know why games do, do this where they just cut to silence. Like, you know, that's kind of weird, bro. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Dad will appear next to- I'm not tired. Here, keep going on the- I want to talk to Papa. Alright! Papa, are you here? Where are you? I'm scared. Hello? He didn't come today. It's too sad, too bad. Okay, let's let's complete the game. I wonder what happens when you reach uh, 30. Can I just... Oh, well, this is pretty easy. Pink square lower meta. Just, just, just go over them in like a reverse U shape. Just like this. And they cannot touch you. They literally cannot do anything. Subscribe to this channel for more pink square lore tips and tricks. 30 out of 30. What's gonna happen, man? Oh, golly jeebers. Okay, I almost got it. Huh. Done. Yay! Yeah, literally nothing happens. You know what? I don't like Pink Square anymore. I'm not a Pink Square uh, advocate anymore. I I'm not a fan of it. Oh my. Okay, I guess the second one. I don't know. Today, Papa didn't come home. I was all alone and scared. I hope he comes back tomorrow. I hate it when I'm alone. Where is Papa? Don't worry, he's gonna be here the next, the next day. He will look a bit different, but rest assured that that is Papa. <laughs> crazy. That was crazy once. They locked me in a hole. I don't know, we're okay, man. I don't want to encounter whatever that thing was again. That, that, that thing was pretty scary. Oh my, oh my, oh my, okay. We got a little maze. Uh, they locked me in a maze, big ass maze. Uh, so the monster took me in a little like rat maze. Like, is he treating me as one of his mice? Hey man, that's really disrespectful. I have a daughter. You better get me, you better, you better let me out of this place. Or else we're gonna have a problem, pal. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a call the police on your, on your bit. Okay. Oh, is this a house? Hey man, this is not pretty fun. Uh, well, do I get a prize at the end if I complete the maze? No, is that a, is that a possibility? What is this? Uh, we got a, we got two sets of stairs. Oh, we got a bunch, a bunch of stairs. I don't think they lead to anywhere. So am I as the, am I the little girl? Am I the man? Am I the dad? Like, who am I? Who am I? Who are you? Oh, he's gonna appear in you. Oh wait, no. It's just a big wall. Let's go back in the hall. Day six. Oh, uh, God, Lava. Pills. Just so I don't get infected, man. You know, dad, that's looking out for me. I know he's somewhere. Huh? No, I drank the water. What is this? Oh, wait, that's, oh, that's a little trophy for completing the game. <laughs> Pink square lore. Yes, let's go. Let's go. I need to pick up the food from the table. There's no food on the table. You want some water? Sure, let's water the plants. I think like, you can eat the plants. They'll be fine, bro. I don't think they would mind. Keep growing, little one. Yeah, because I, I need all the uh, as, ma as much calories as possible. Is this food? Mm. Still no food. What should I do? There's still some old food left. Good. Let's go. Let's eat. We don't have to eat the plants yet. Alright, there we go. And now I wash myself. So I'm a little stink ash boy. Alright, and now we wait for fodder. Here, can we play free runner? No. <laughs> My only source of entertainment is gone. Dad, please. I'm very alone. Yeah, so far this is pretty heartbreaking. Father trying to like protect his daughter. And then he just gets killed. And their interactions were pretty sweet. So yeah, this is pretty sad. Where's Papa? <sighs> Not today either. Oh, everything, everything is shaky wakey. Am I going crazy? Rubber room? 
Uh, if Popeye's not coming home, do I need to take my pills? Well, the pills are to prevent us from getting infected. I cannot think of another reason why we're taking the pills. The game is called My Eyes Deceive. Maybe the, the, the pills are like making our eyes deceive us. So I'm gonna stop taking the pills just to see the truth. He's still not coming. It's been four days now. The pills make me tired. If he's not coming, do I even have to take them? No, I won't take them anymore. A rebellious little rascal. No, I mean, I mean, just say screw it. Let's let's stop taking the pills. I mean, that is dead. So like, I, who's gonna be mad? Like realistically, that fucking scared me. What are you? These are some chains. Okay, I think I think those chains are connected to a big guy up there. I couldn't. I, I pressed D on them, but nothing happened. Okay, I'm not. Okay, yo, yo, bro. I am. I don't wanna. I don't wanna free it. But I feel like that's what we gotta do. No, there's not. There's nothing else to do here. Oh, dude! I right, were releasing uh, the big bad monster out in the world. Are you sir sure about that? About this? No, I'm not sure. But I, I don't think I got another any other option, man. Like if I walk here, there's gonna be more chains. Yeah, see, and uh, like that, and yeah, you see, it's just chains, dude. I got no other option. You're gonna be free, big guy. You're gonna go on in the world. You're gonna do whatever you please. Ooh, scary. Is it worth it? I mean, listen, I'm the type type of guy to say fuck it, we ball. So if you give me no other options. <laughs> I'm a fucking ball. Who's gonna stop me? Cause you sure as hell won't do anything about it, text. You should trust Papa. Okay, well, he's not here. He promised he'd protect me and we failed at doing that, so. Alright, let's drink some water, cause I'm not taking the pills. Oh, there's. Mm. I think okay. Well, mm. there's food. You see back? You see? I don't know. I, I I don't I don't know. Um. What if he was alive? Imagine that crazy plot twist. Like he didn't actually die. Okay. Uh, can I do? Okay, no, no, still no. Right, uh, let's go water the plants. That, that'd be a crazy, that, that'd be crazy if he was still alive. And I actually thought he died. So I stopped taking the pills. Oh my God. All right, and now we water this one. Let's hope Papa is, uh, comes this time. Oh, okay. Um, Papa? Hey, sweetie. You're back. Yes, princess. I'm back. Wait. What's the password? Apple. It's actually you! Where did you go? I'm sorry. Something urgent came up. I had to leave for a couple days. It won't happen again. Promise? Promise. How have you been? Have you been taking your pills? I've been alright. I had to eat some leftovers though. But that wasn't a problem at all. What about your pills? Uh, yes. Of course, I took them. I'm glad to hear. Also, as an apology, I brought you something. What is it? That is an apple. So that's what it looked like. Try eating it soon. They're best when they're fresh. I'll try it later. Already feeling tired? Um, yes. A bit. That's good. Head to bed then, honey. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Oh, God. Um, yeah. That is okay, and we did not take the pill, so, uh, I think I fucked it up. Oh my god. Wow, it's so sweet and juicy. <laughs> Pretend to fall asleep. Oh, no. The girl's father was still alive. It's the girl we got desperate, scared. And after a while, we decided to stop taking the pills. But we should have listened. We shouldn't have stopped taking the pills. We shouldn't have broken away the chains that were holding everything in place. The affection has probably already gotten to us through our conversation with our father. who will soon be sick and probably die. All of the hard work our fathers put in. All for nothing. All because we didn't listen. All because...
so. Are you awake? All right. Let's get to it then. Shit. I shouldn't be here yet. She didn't, she didn't close the door. Uh, is that evil? What, what was he, what was he gonna do? Okay, like I said, fuck it, we ball. Yo, okay. So this is not how the house looks like. Yo, dad, you better not be evil. Receipt, Vitality at RX Pharmacy, okay. Purchases five sed sedatives. Oh god Total seventy two dollars. Bro, we are not in a post-apocalyptic world. What are sedatives? Oh, you poor girl. Oh No Oh no Police re police report yo yo Spontaneous house inspection Inspection. Dude, we are we are kidnapped. Taken to a police station due to suspicious purchases. Conclusion: No substantial evidence found. Case will be closed. Oh no! Oh what? No, no! You should not have closed the case, man. I'm still trapped down here. I'm trapped down here. I got kidnapped. That's not that. That's not fucking that. Boy, dude. Bro, uh, is he? Oh god, open, doors open. What's here, dude? Okay, I knew it. It's not a post-apocalyptic world. We're kidding. What is that glowing ball up there? Oh my god! And why does it hurt my eyes? Stop looking at it! Stop looking at it! Okay. Alright, I found, um... I think this is the second ending. Yeah, okay, so he decided- He decided to take the pill. Go to sleep. Okay, buddy. I don't know why you're talking like that. I'll just see the notes here. Today Paul came back, I'm very happy, and he also gave me an apple. I didn't think it would be so tasty. I hope he can bring me some more soon. Me some more food. Okay, I don't know why he's talking like that. He's like very close to the mic and stuff. Alright, so... Normal activities. All right, talk with Papa. Right, let's see here. Um, exactly my reaction. Why is my belly so round and big? Pause. What? Wait, what? Um. Huh? For those who were wondering, basically, Papa lied about a monster outside and... Dude! Dude! I... Oh my god! What? This is on Roblox? Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude! Oh, dude, that's disgusting. Dude, I still cannot believe- I still cannot believe what the fuck I just played! That was so disgusting! Oh... This time, the fabricated dangerous world to keep her from going outside. Stories of monsters that mimic people to keep her from revealing her location. The pills to keep her from waking up during... Uh, 
I did an outro, stopped recording, and just sat there. Usually, when I'm done playing a horror game, I don't really feel anything. The game gets a scare in, but I never lose sleep over it. As you'd guess by the lengthy outro, the game, this game's different. There's no monsters, psychological tricks, creepy imagery, or something I can simply brush off because it's all fiction. The game is a simple showcase of a terrible reoccurrence of this world. This wasn't based on a true story. This was based on multiple real stories. I've never felt this dreadful, sad, and disgusted at the same time before. I'm not traumatized or losing sleep over this, but I felt uneasy when remembering this game. And I guess that's what true horror does. Truly unapologetic horror. It sticks with you. It haunts you. To achieve that, this game didn't have to craft an unnerving creature from hell. All it had to do to disturb me was show me the worst of humanity. Show me what I didn't know, I didn't want to see. Show me what happens when people who are meant to protect you from any and all monsters are the devil themselves.